Name name a word or phrase that would use to describe your wife. Grand Turismo Bitch. Two Part <laughs> Six. <laughs> Okay. That guy definitely got divorced that day. <laughs> yes. I was just gonna say Gran Turismo 2 Part 6, but I, I will go with that. I'm Thunder, by the way. Alligator. <laughs> so when, so anyways, uh, I should mention when you do all the licenses, you'll like when you first go to license test, you will see these five here. But once you beat the international A license, oh. this little arrow shows up. Click it. And uh oh, super uh -oh. license. More fucking licenses. Goes. There are hey, wait a minute, Thunder, do you keep restarting the stream? No. Well, it seems to freeze up uh, my little window. Ev Hold on, because I'm using my torrent length, and it seems to stop working every time you start a new part. Of well, the according stream. to according to OBS, I've not dropped a single frame. Nope. Um, I'm watching it on Twitch, and no, you didn't. So anyways, yeah. so you may remember the international A license in GT1 were full entire lapsed tracks. Guess what? Guess what the super license is. Well, the same thing. The same trials. thing. But this time we're actually using ten. Yes, ten different cars, not the same two all the time. Yes. Yeah. They, they actually Hello. brought some variety this time around. And they brought some really good variety. For and the first track is Tahiti Road, which is a track I really miss. And you get and to I'm drive a a rally, a Monte Carlo rally inspired mini. I was about to say that. Yay! Be I, re I actually really, really like the car variety in the Super License. It's, they, they've done a great job with it. Oh. You, you, can you can actually really see the whole variety that GT2 has to offer, GT2 offer in just, this license. GT2 just mostly took everything that was GT1 and, and cranked it to not 11, but 12. Yep. Maybe even 14. Maybe. Depends on who you ask. Well, if, if you ask me, 40. Yes. But this, but yeah, um, not surprising. Many of these actually do require some uh, challenge. Uh, the first one, of course, I'm not, that was far from gold. But again, I'm mostly just trying to, I'm mostly just taking this a little more casual because just showing them off. It's the first one's not too bad. This one, on the other hand, ignore that time because, again, I was just blatantly trying to get gold. It wasn't, like... Basically, get it out of the way because be cool. Ooh, four GT40, four GT40 oh. road car. Yes, road car. Ooh, I, I but, think when right in, compar in comparison to S1, S2, the GT40 road car is a little difficult. Mm. Just, just a little. When when Reiner did the OP, I think he missed it by one thousand of a second or so on this test. It, he he did a really close one on this one. I remember that. Possibly. And guess what? This test was repeated in GT3, but this time with a road car, and it was a first. Uh, you mean race car? Race car, yes. Yes, because race that's, car. That's a because road race car. car. Why road car? Because race car. Yes. Well, kind of really wish they didn't take out the GT40 after GT3, but at least it came back in GT6. Is is it just me, or does the GT40 have quite some stands in, on the back wheels? Kind of does. Well, it is only 40 inches tall. Yeah, true. And Jeremy Clarkson's head was being severed off as he tried to enter it. <laughs> yup. I remember watching I remember, the video. I, rem I remember he had to... Back in the old old uh, Clarkson days, t the only way he could literally drive the GT40 was to get a modified version so he could, he could actually sit in it. <laughs> that was in one of his uh, DVDs, I think. 132, 292, which isn't a bad time for just someone well, who who just who's doing it on a first go without like practicing it. I usually do have to do these multiple times before I can get the gold. Can't do it in one sitting. Yep. Anyways, Those, uh, here's one. Easy. Here's one that can usually be done in one sitting. And guess what car I'm in again? Peugeot 306. No. Impreza rally car. Colin McFly. Yep. Uh, GT4 McFly. had the Seattle test with 2004 GT. I think it did actually. I, I know it had the one lap magic where you did the Seattle reverse with the four GT. Oh my goodness, that one was actually pretty fun. Mm-hmm. I still need. Oh, hate call him a, call oh him. my god. That that's oh a my lot god, of fly. Dirt. It is dirt. What is this? This dirt. is th this doesn't belong in my Gran Turismo game. If you're if for some reason you only ever play GT one. 
don't know. Welcome to the, but welcome to the I, dirt rally pre pre pre. I mean, it, it, it's it's kind of cool that they added the rally stuff into Gran Turismo, but it, it always feels more like an afterthought because it's there's it's very that, few rally tracks. Yeah, there, there's few rally tracks and like the races well, are is, like. Well, you, you, well, snow courses. you do say that, but keep in mind that this isn't the most uh, completely underutilized thing in the game. We'll get to that, that later on. That, that actually uh, reminds me. Uh, I think there's a rally track that's only available in arcade mode. Is there? Um, I think you might be right. I believe that would roadways. be Tahiti Maze. And I didn't no, I but anyway, S S S four. We got I, a, I, You'll no, you'll also be noticing that unlike GT one, where we only had like fictional. Well, actually, no, there were some real life race inspired cars, but GT two definitely amped it by having nearly the entire 1999 Japanese Grand Touring Championship car roster, except for a couple, but only because of licensing reasons. That's a lot of JTTC cars. Yes. And uh, wasn't there in the 1999 season, was there a Lamborghini Diablo or something like yep, that? Yep, there was also a McLaren yes. F1. And McLaren F1, yeah. Like, all, like the, the, plan, the plan was for GT2, they were going to try to get every yep. car from that season, but some of them they couldn't acquire for licensing issues, so sad, they had to be sad, scrapped. Sadly, they, they couldn't acquire the, the coolest cars, admittedly. But yeah. there is a JTTC Viper in yep, the, the game, end. but I think you can't win it. The STP Tyson Viper. Yeah, the Tyson Viper. This one I actually remember. One in the intro? This one I actually remember being kind of difficult, yep. but it's not too bad. It just takes a little bit. Anyways, now for probably my one of my favorite tracks in GT2 that has never been seen since GT2. A little Red track Rock called. Valley? A little track Grindelwald. called Grindelwald. Grindelwald. And I get to use a souped-up Lotus Europa for this. A German track. It, Grindelwald always feels more like a Need for Speed track. It kind of does. Where's R35? Not in this game. Get out of here. Go play GT5. And Sander, go to bed. Here we, here we see another oh. nice racing modification because he could actually uh, race mod a Lotus Europa in that game. Yeah. Which is freaking cool. Which is why, when I point to the later Grand Turismo games, look, it was possible then, why isn't it possible now, huh? Huh? I mean, there was every car available nope. for race you, mods, you, uh, but... You spelled it wrong, um, Skyfall. Grindelwald. <laughs> I'm gonna spell it for you. Hey look, it's a Lotus Europa from Le Mans, I believe. Took you long enough. Also, someone's mic is humming. Yep. Oh, that was probably mine, I guess. Also, I Why? realized Stop I had humming. time. What? It's not mine, you tell is it? No, you're fine. Alright, good. The problem was, I had my mic muted. I was talking the entire time. <laughs> Way to go. Well, you you fool. This one is also... Uh, it, it's a little tricky, but... If you once you get down all the corners and you get all the speeds and you know all the all the braking and timing and all that, it can be golden. Rome Circuit S six is Rome Circuit full course, and we're in a touring car for this one. Oh, oh, here we have some the four the four oh six. Some British touring cars. You also notice nice. a weird uh, visual glitch with this car. Uh, visual glitch? Yeah, that would be the decals constantly flashing. Not the dick, yeah. not the, not the dick holes. Or the yeah. rise up and down for no reason. No, that's not it. What is it? You have to be paying attention to it. The spoiler. wing? Not the spoiler. Oh, oh, the exhaust. It, it's kind of appearing in this. Oh, yes. Yeah, so oh, I see what you're saying it. now. That's a really funky exhaust. It doesn't know, it doesn't know if it wants to make up its mind if it wants to say hi or not. It, it's it's um, shy. It's, it's sort of saying it's, shy, it's very it's shy. It's really, clean. really shy. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's like saying oh. um. It, it's it's Hello, playing. Oh um. It's playing. I'll come back. Yep. It's pretty okay. much only playing peekaboo. Mm -hmm. Peekaboo. 
Also, uh, since you talked about the uh, tests on Grindelwald being a bit tricky, I think that's uh, partly because not being used to the track because it's only in that game and Good point. you don't drive it very often. So that, that makes and, it a uh, bit tricky. If you want shy, you should have seen me around 15, dude. Meanwhile... Be well. This one not is this one's actually not too bad. Just gotta just do it a little quicker than that, and you'll be good. I swear my voice vibrates everything in my in my shape. <sighs> okay. It's vibrating my, it's vibrating my now for S seven. Is 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 it the Laguna Seca one? Yes, it is. Oh, very good. Yeah, one thousand seven hundred. That's a viper. Now if I was seven hundred and thirteen horsepower. Now, if I was yep. doing these license tests live, this would be this would be take seventeen hundred, because holy hell, this is hard. No, this would be attempt number park bench number three. I know. <laughs> Clearly, this is not uh, the real Eureka car. It must be black and red. This is the real Eureka <laughs> car, though, because this was yep. before the red and white striped one. And it Actually, looks way right. better. Oh. It looks better. It looks more French. Uh, and same here, Sander. Same here. Oh, Lee balls. Oh, but Lee then balls. again, soon enough you'll grow some balls. No, what are balls? Balls those things out in your eye sockets. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. And oh. Spin. Hmm. I didn't spin oh. it though. I almost did. You, you almost spaghetti it away. Almost. He yeah. almost threw his popcorn out. Basically, with this test, I cannot do this if I'm have the outside view like this. I need the bumper. I would need the bumper view. Yeah. I still can't believe you're doing it without the bumper view. Now, S8 is the Tahiti maze, where Tommy Mackin and his, his where Tommy Mackin is owning his craft. Um. That's who's the, who's the, who's the better rally driver? Is it Colin McFly or Tommy McKinnon? Well, me. Yes. <laughs> Torn no, is best rally driver. No, because you crash into fucking trees. You crash into what, fucking trees but, all but that, the time. But, but tree crash is best crash. That's what makes him the best, best though, crash. Mueller. I'll be right back. But, but okay. ra rally this rally one was extremely piss easy. Yeah. Nope, but time. <laughs> yep. Rally Whoa. driving doesn't mean yeah. crash into trees. It's I mean, only like nine I, seconds. Like I said, I was kind of deliberately using uh, exploits to get gold in many of these, like I mentioned a couple times already. But that's because off screen and just wanted to get the gold because if I I, I don't want to have people sitting through me repeating this like 10 million times and I'm running out of things to say. Mm-hmm. Because yep. Torrent sure knows that it frustrates him when that happens. Yes. I literally it hate it when I have nothing to say. And also, why do you think? I, yeah, I hate it when I have nothing to say either. Why do you think I do these uh, group things now? Also on uh, on stream, if you're talking and talking and Society. you're talking about something good, and then it will end up not being in the video, and then it is ah, just wasted, yes. and uh, and so everything we say will be in the video. So yeah. we're not miss it, missing out on anything. I guess it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of the lag and stuff for me, it's gonna, everyone's gonna be really about, everyone's, awkward. Everyone's talking about lag, yet meanwhile... I'm I don't nice have any lag. I don't have any lag either. Neither do I. Because See? I don't even know how to set up that kind of hey, thing. Hey, guys, here's a tip. Upgrade your bloody PCs! Oh my god! Okay, that, that works. Savage. See, even with that terrible run, I got a 157.2. Seven Hold seconds up. behind ahead of gold. That's ridiculous. Behind. No, yep. remember what we were saying about underutilized. Welcome to Rome Night. This track and has a license test in the simulation mode disc, and that's it. The only other way it pops up is if it shows up through a little mode that we'll get to near the uh, later end of this uh, LP. Are you That's a secret. Are you unlock it in the? Um, Shut it's up. A it's a secret mode. Scooby doo 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 do
And, okay. Uh, ba uh, basically, zero. I for added you without him telling me. So. Oh, so I wasn't supposed to be a part of this. I was Lovely. actually, I was actually going to make you a part of it. It's just that he didn't tell me he was going to bring you in. Yeah. If I'm being honest, I'm probably going to take off after the next part if Addison already ended. So. What? Zero uh, six. Okay. Same goes for me because Did late. The end or what? Yeah, it's getting late for you. Anyways, but yeah, I I, I remember I the one thing I definitely don't like about this life test is it's goddamn hard. That time is not legitimate up there because ugh, mm. this license test is a pain in the ass. Something oh, I'd like to is, note. Why is that open GL2 thing popping up? That shouldn't be I there. Something I'd like to note. In Gran Turismo 5, a section from this track and a section from uh, Rome Circuit from GT3 get used on the uh, also, same why is the, track. Why is, the, why is the sky freaking out? Oh. Um, Weird. Um, why is he open after GL, why are you there? Yeah. That, that, oh, yeah. now it's gone again. Eh, uh, it's gone. Yep, yeah, and it no longer exists. Well, because I, I, I made it disappear. I somehow you, got you gold made, on this. And then finally, somehow. <laughs> finally, S10 with our GT1. That yep. license test was goddamn painful. It took me I'm... five hours of my lifetime. What, S10? No, S9. Oh yeah, S9 is uh, the same way. S10. I approve of this car. Oh, it's it's, oh, it's a wrong it's a wrong livery. It's 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 a bad yeah, livery. Nice this nice is not a bad this is not a bad livery. What are you it's talking about? It's not a about? bad livery, but it's worse that than the, the other GT1 livery. That's the 99 Exxon Le Mans livery. I don't know. Precisely the same livery which have which had all three cars break down in 99. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Whoops! The Toyota, the GT1 Ouch. was on, the GT1 was on, was cons, was at first on pace to win it. Then they all broke down. <laughs> simultaneously? Not well, not simultaneously, but it, it was all, varied throughout the race. Like they, they like, all like, wrecked each like, other. I'll put it this way: the 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 GT1 that finished the highest was basically did did much of the later part of Le Mans chasing down the uh, the V12 LMR that that went on to win. Like it was basically hunt it down and win, and as it, as it was actually gaining in to perhaps take steal it and win it, it broke down again. Oh! Box issues decided to uh, plague the car. Yeah, S10 um is is fairly difficult, but actually, if you if you know how to get the cornering and the speed down, it. You'll be surprised how lesser attempts it takes. Or simply watch the ghost uh -huh. from Lord Kaz himself. Yes, Kaz's own ghost will show you the way. So that's the super license, and that's every license. Now that's every license test. Huzzah! Yay. Anyways, when you do that, of course, you, there's only one other prize car worth it: the 99 GT1 race car. Also, if you pay very, yes. very close attention, you may notice that the GT1 I used in that license says was the Exxon on the Superflow edition. This one is the Esso Ultron edition because regional AKA. differences. AKA, still the wrong delivery. Okay, still a good livery, though. Okay, so it, it's a good livery, but it's not the okay, better so in, one. Okay, so in part seven, we're actually gonna do some braces. How about that? Are we good with that? How yeah. about that? <laughs> and I'm not gonna be there for it. Yay! Yay! Mm. Actually, no, that's not a good thing. No! Or nay! <laughs> you can make you more uh... Family Feud references. Anyways, part seven, we're gonna be doing a little familiar cup from GT1. You know, the one. The one that kinda is a thing. That's Saturday also in this cup. game. Yay. The Saturday Cup. Was it the Friday we're, Cup? We're going to be doing the Wednesday Monday Cup. We're going to be doing the Wednesday Cup in Part Seven. Yeah. So stay tuned. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you for watching and take care. <laughs> See ya. And stay tuned for the Wednesday Cup coming this Wednesday night to Never. Wednesday. Wednesday. Stay Wednesday. tuned for the night shift. So night shift.